Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to answer a couple of questions. The first of which is, how exactly is the price of T-bill determined? And the way that the price is determined is if you take the number of T-fuel, shown here, and multiply it times the price of T-fuel, shown here, and then divide by the number of T bill, the answer will be this price here. So as the quantity and price of T fuel change in the liquidity pool, so does the price of T bill. It's a relationship between those two that determines what the price of T bill is. So these numbers that you're seeing are specific to me as far as the amount of T fuel and the amount of T bill. But it is doing that through the entire LP, not just mine, but the result is the same. So uh, that is how the price of T bill is determined. And the Oracle looks at this every 15 seconds. It takes a snapshot, does the math, and comes up with the price of T bill. And then there's an average over a 10 minute period. So you will see the 10 minute weighted average based on those 40 snapshots and the calculations from those 40 snapshots. So that's how the price of T bill is determined. Now let's look at something else. This new number that has appeared above your uh, historical tracking information over on the left here is a number that represents what one LP token is worth based on the current uh, pricing information. And you wonder, what, what's it talking about? What is that token? Well, if you look in your MetaMask wallet you click on assets and then you scroll down you will see a token that is titled or named uni v2 uni victor 2 and that is the token that is an lp token so if you look at mine for example it shows that i've got 1.4 something so if you multiply that number times the value of one LP token that they're showing you, you will get the value that shows up under the TVL column or total value locked column. Okay, so that's what that number is. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation. So cue the music. Some news came out of the Discord group passed on to me by LT Flying is that as ThetaSwap adds additional pairs to the LP group that wherever T-Bill is part of a pair, your multipliers will apply to that T-Bill. So your multiplier is not limited to just the T-Fuel T-Bill pair if they add uh, USDC and T-Bill as a pair somewhere down the road your multiplier that you have will also apply to the T-Bill in that pair as well so that's good news makes those uh, multipliers even more valuable and they are working on adding additional liquidity pairs there's no time frame as to when that will happen just that when it does those multipliers will apply to all t-bill in any pair that you have liquidity
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me. And I'll see you in the next video.